So you just got the Y70 Touch. What you want to do first is download Nexus. Go to height.com slash Nexus and click download Nexus. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and install. Follow all the prompts. Once you've installed Nexus, go ahead and open it. You have three options once you go into Nexus. You have login, register, or continue as guest. I highly recommend registering so you can save your profile across all computers. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna continue as guest. This is the performance tuning window. We have a higher spec PC, so we're gonna turn all the sliders to the right for the highest quality. For video backgrounds, we're gonna select on. If you have a lower spec PC, go ahead and turn this off or turn on and turn off before you play games or do something that's more computer intensive. Nexus will automatically detect the Y70. Click get started. Here, it will rotate the screen orientation for you automatically. Click Next. And here, we're going to calibrate the touch screen. Make sure you follow all steps one through three. Click Calibrate to begin. Using your fingers, touch the screen. It is now calibrated. Click Next. Here, you're prompted with Windows Touch. We recommend disabling Windows Touch gestures for the best touch experience. It is now disabled. Click Next. Again, another prompt for video wallpapers. Go ahead and click On. And now you're finished. Here are the gestures to navigate the Y70 touch screen. You can slide left and right, just like your mobile phone. Slide down for volume. Here you can control brightness, volume, Wi-Fi amongst other things. Another way to navigate the screen is by holding down. So for the volume specifically, hold it down and you have a mixer. So you can control the volume of so you can control the volume of Steam, Discord all separately without having to minimize your game screen. Touch to manipulate functions. Here we're calculating in the calculator. Once you're inside Nexus, go ahead and click on the Faces module. Once you're in, you're presented with three tabs, the Faces, Theme, and Settings. We'll start off with the Faces tab. Here, you can customize widgets. This is a preview of the Y70 touchscreen. When you interact with your screen, it follows closely with what's happening on the screen itself. You can add pages in the bottom by clicking New. And you can see now we have three pages. To delete a page, click Delete. To add widgets, click on them from the top. We'll quickly go through them all. Here in the Media widget, you can control your media through your touchscreen. It works by latching on to whatever source is playing music. Right now it's playing a YouTube video and Nexus recognizes it. So you can pause, play, and move forward. It also works with Spotify. In order to expand upon it, press and hold with your finger. For Twitch chat, go ahead and click Add, and add your channel or whoever's chat you want to see. We have OBS, the stream. Go ahead and launch OBS and connect it, and block game. You can add block game by clicking Add, and remove by removing. The shortcut widget, adds a shortcut to your programs. You can go ahead and add Steam, OBS, or VLC player. And you can open it straight from your Y70 Touch touchscreen. We have a calculator, gallery, which you can add GIFs and pictures in different sizes. You can select a file from your computer and add it in. You can add it in in one by one, four by two, or four by four. Next, we'll add the performance widget. Here, you can customize how it looks and what to add, from clock speed, temperature, voltage, and power, depending on your component. You can show your device name, as well as metrics through text. And don't forget, 
you can expand on this by pressing and holding on your Y70 touchscreen. Screen time shows you how long you've had a program open, followed by clock, URL, which adds a shortcut to a web page, and the emoji keyboard. Lastly, we have lighting, which controls your lighting desktop setup through Nexus. Let's move on to theme. Here you can customize the Y70 touchscreen to your personality or your setup. You have a full array of color options here. Let's go ahead and click on fish. When you click on it, it'll give you an option to customize it yourself where you can change the accents or Nexus will automatically apply a color palette that matches the background. As you can see, the widget colors complement the background. We also have gradients for a nice simple look. And in the bottom, you can control the opacity of the widget itself. On the bottom left, you have the saturation window, which allows you to control the color of the widgets. Next, we have the settings tab. Here, you can turn the actual screen on and off, change the clock format to 12 hour to 24 hour, fix the orientation, calibrate it, and disable Windows Touch. You could also disable video backgrounds. You could also submit suggestions and report any bugs you guys find. I hope you guys enjoy your Y70 Touch, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it.